Before I begin with today's video, I'd just like to very quickly bring everyone's attention to the fact that this is not the first Batman themed video I've done recently. I've also released a video documentary on a game based around the Dark Knight, which you can see on the Diddy you Know Gaming channel. To go to it, you can hit the annotation in the video or go via the link in the description. Today, however, I am not reporting this on the behalf of any gaming site. This is my own research coming from me as an individual. Last year, you may remember, there was a rumour from IGN Italy, which claimed there was going to be a remastered collection of the Batman Arkham games coming to Xbox One and PS4. The source which they spoke with believed that the game was going to be released by the end of the year in time for the holidays. I remember I was able to find out that this was a contact link with retail, but wasn't able to speak with them firsthand. Now, if the game does exist, it's not implausible that an individual in retail might have stumbled upon it via a store database, for example. It's actually it's actually fairly common for certain publishers to disclose feature titles to retailers long before any kind of official announcement is shared with the public, especially for instance if they have some kind of retail exclusive deal, like maybe you get a free bit of DLC if you pre-order it and that is how a lot of leaks happen actually as well. Having said all that, fast forward to 2016, so far no such collection game has been released or even announced. Recently however, this rumour has begun to pick up steam yet again. One source that deals directly with the publishers of the Batman Arkham games, Warner Brothers Interactive Entertainment, claims that this reported collection does exist and remains under development. I also spoke of someone who was involved with IGN Italy's original report who corroborated this rumour. This latest rumour claims that the game could finally see release this year, possibly as early as summer. According to this source, the collection will include Batman Arkham Asylum and Arkham City. On the other hand, uh, the individual in question didn't believe that Batman Arkham Origins would be a part of the pack. This might make sense seeing as Warner Brothers referred to Arkham Knight as the end of the trilogy in its marketing which could imply that they're either not terribly proud of it, or they don't see it as part of this grand saga anymore. As for whether Arkham Knight would be a part of this apparent collection, the rumour source wasn't able to tell me either way definitively. It wouldn't surprise me, again, if they left Arkham Knight out, because another rumour says that they will release a new version of that game this year too. Amazon Germany is currently listing something called the Arkham Knight Sonder Edition for release in March, Sonder, I believe, means special in German, although I'm not entirely sure about that. Someone possibly of native German tongue can correct me in the comments if I'm wrong about that. Please do, by the way, if I am. Another point which might suggest that the collection will only include remasters of Asylum and City is not only the fact that this is consistent with IGN Italy's original story, but uh, the Xbox 360 versions of the two have yet to be made backwards compatible with the Xbox One. The Xbox community has of course uh, been given this opportunity to vote on which games they'd like to see be made backwards compatible with the Xbox One, and currently Arkham City is comfortably sitting near the top of those highest voted suggestions. We're kind of going into deep speculative territory right now, but if WB was intending to release remasters of these games, it might not be the best thing strategically to make those backwards compatible, at least not yet. Of course, that point is purely speculation, and as always, I would suggest that everyone treat this like any other rumour by taking it with a big pinch of salt. Nothing is official at this point, this is all just talk between the people who work with Warner Brothers, but you never know, with uh, recurring rumours like this, there's often no smoke without fire. Anyway, if you found this video to be of interest, please don't forget to subscribe for more videos digging into new rumours just like this one. Thanks for watching, and have fun.